Oh, hi. How are you? Good to see you again. <coughs> Always a pleasure. You know, uh, I saw this. This knife came in today from Amazon. I'm going to call it the Mandrel Monkey Butt Baboon Knife. Something like that. Probably Baboon Monkey Butt or Mandrel Monkey Butt or some shit like that. Um, this is what a mandrel monkey looks like. And I'm not fond of monkeys. I'm not fond of monkeys that are itty bitty or huge or in between. I've had problems with monkeys before. And uh, I was attacked by a monkey. He tried to jump on my head. I don't like monkeys. <laughs> monkeys will hurt you. Monkeys are evil, and they will hurt you, and they will hurt you bad. But anyway, I saw this knife, and a lot of people don't have it. I happened to find one on Amazon, and it's, you know, a lot of people are sold out, or they don't, you know, or it's it's um, not available yet. It's from CJRB. I still don't know what that means, but it's the, um, the Tigris. And when I was looking for it before, I found this other CRJB, which I did a review on. You can look in my in my uh, other videos. And I was like, huh, that's not a bad knife. But let's open this. So we'll take a look at this. And you'll see what I'm talking about about it looking like that mandrel baboon. That's a colorful baboon. Really colorful. Evil looking fucker. Okay. Here it is. Pretty heavy box. I would guess so. It's a pretty heavy box because it's weighing in at 6.3 ounces. Yes, it's Chinese made. Yeah, that's a big one. Don't need that pack. Yeah, that's that's a big one. And it's a heavy one. Handles five inches. Yeah, that's that's pretty stout. But you know, it in the pictures, it looks more well blue. And then you got this black. This is a G10. It's got a 3.5 inch blade. <clears throat> it's on uh, ceramic bearings. Overall, it's a 8.5 inch. The blade is 1.5 inch width. The handle is 1.25 inch width. It's a sheep's foot. Now this steel, they say, is a is a uh, AR RPM9. It's a artisan cutlery proprietary steel whatever that means you got some nice texture right here blue and black they say G10 you have a stainless steel liner and it is a liner lock that uh... these ergonomics are rather spiffy you can change the... no I guess you can't it's right hand only you got some nice red right here. I guess that could be for your lanyard or a glass breaker. Nice red accent. So you got this like bluish gray with the red and the black. And it looks like a monkey butt. So that's what we're going to call this. We're going to call the mandrel monkey butt. Huh. Feels good. Feels good. You got you got some really nice accents here. Really nice accents. It, it, it You know, pictures don't do it justice. Nice edge, sheep foot. Pictures don't really do it justice. They, they, you know, not the pictures you see on some of these sites. Now, I'm buying this on Amazon. I see that I, apparently I got the one they had. Uh, Lockup's really tight. Was I worried about getting ripped off or a counterfeit? It's only a $55, $60 knife. You know, and if somebody wants to counterfeit a fifty-five, sixty-dollar knife made in China and sell it on Amazon, all right, I'll buy it. 
you got a little bit of like bogus designer jimping here not much written on the blade except the crjb logo uh the liner the release is 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 nice makes a nice little ow get your finger out of the way ken makes a nice little fidget knife opens and closes nicely yeah nice little spike you know not much to say about it overall but uh it's well done it's well done here's a, here it is compared to this carbon fiber one that i bought which was about the same price huh i just happened to have a griptilian in my pocket a uh, bench made here it is compared to that size wise stout little blade so far the cjrp cjrb those guys i'm pretty impressed with it i'm pretty impressed with them and on a whole here it is sharp whoops it is very very i haven't been out here very long this is the sweat from the moist from the humidity it's uh it's really kicking <laughs> very 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 damp let's see if we can get some hair well scared of me <laughs> i mean that took it that took it right off. I swear, you know, apparently yesterday, these bugs, you know, I like bugs, but gee, I, I woke up and there was a, apparently there's a whole bunch of flies in the kitchen. I'm like, what the hell? It, it happens sometimes. And I'm like, I, you know, keep everything closed up. I don't know how in the hell they get in. I go to the two stores in this little town. One's a convenience store, one's a family dollar. I haven't heard of a fly swatter. I'm like, do you have one? The other guy in the in the convenience store, he's he's Indian, and he's like looking at me, and I had to explain what a fly swatter is. Maybe if I said, you know, a camel tail, or I can, you know, swat, you know. But no one had a fly swatter. So I ordered one from Amazon. I'll come in tomorrow, and I'm going to kill these fuckers. The flies, not the Amazon people. <laughs> I gotta go, I'm terribly busy, we'll see you.